Get your left phone. Get your left phone. Get your left phone. That can only be the only me. Tell me, are you ready? You ready to get your left phone? Model V. Okay, let's go through a few things. Two teams, red versus the blue team. Two teams of three, and did compete the victory. And this all decided by you. Who? Who? Yeah, none other than the loyal fans. So virtually throw your hands and throw them six and sevens and cheer for whatever team you're repping. The next team that we need suggestions. Yeah, everything we do here is made up. We make up everything that you see. Right off the top, right on the spot. 30 minutes past 7 o'clock. Sit back, relax. Don't forget to go and enter the chat. You about to see you a wonderful match. Guaranteed, cause it be Wednesday night. Good evening and welcome, loyal fans. It is in the 8 o'clock hour on Wednesday night on CSEN, in your Twitch, in your living room. I hope you're staying cozy wherever you are. But you know what this means. It is time for Minor League. We are keeping the comedy sports fun going all night on our CSEN Twitch. Um, I hope you caught Rec League at 7 p.m. Central Time here. They're fabulous, they're wonderful. Um, and if you missed it, don't worry, we'll be back. Actually, we're taking a holiday break, but we'll be back in the new year. Um, check us out on Wednesdays coming up. Um, Wednesday night, minor league Twitch. Okay, so what you're about to see is, com well, first, I should, first things first, let me introduce myself. My name is Nina Chibber Williams, and I am very excited to be your announcer this evening. Um, you can call me announcer means. I think I just, uh, I'm gonna try to make that nickname for myself work. Anyway, so I'm here to shepherd you all through the process as we watch two incredible teams battle it out head to head for your laughs and love. Yes, this evening you are tuned in to play, uh, to see comedy played as a sport. And this night is so special for a few reasons. The first being that, oh, we have a very special ref, um, Yvette Jaskowitz. This is her last game, uh, or last, her last, not her last game. This is, Yvette means a lot to us, and um, she is our head coach, and now she is stepping away. But we're going to celebrate her and love her, and she's going to ref a, a ref a really tough match. We want to share lots of love to her the entire night. Can I just get some sixes and sevens for Yvette right now? If you're new, and I see you back in there, R.I. Olsen, really happy to have you. Um, if you're new, like R.I. Olsen, sixes and sevens in the chat is how we show our digital appreciation for our um for all of our performers and players and everything we see on scene. So if you like what you see, go ahead and put some sixes and sevens in the chat. So first, we want to give lots of loves and shout out sixes and sevens to Yvette. Second, tonight in this minor league match, everybody watching is about to witness the debut of a huge minor league game. That's right. This game is incredible and it will be fueled by your guesses, by your by by all of your energy. Um, we are so excited for you to be part of this incredible evening. Um, so as I said, you are about to see comedy played as a sport. What? How will that happen? Two teams go head to head competing for your laughs and love. How do they get the material for their comedy, uh, their comedy sports? That comes from you all. So as I said, we have a chat um, to the right hand side. I just literally had to do this to the right hand side of your screen um, where we will turn for suggestions and just general chit chat. I love I love the chat um, for to see all of your sixes and sevens. So right now, just to help uh, get all of our little thingies warmed up, um, I would love if everyone can type in the chat. I would let examples of uh, uh, categories with many things in them. Um, so colors is an example. What's another one? Um, think of your favorite types of things. Is it TV shows? Um, is it is it foods? Whatever categories of things you can think of, just start dumping them all in that chat. 
just to get our little fingies warmed up. And so our ref will be coming to the chat on and off throughout the night to get more suggestions from you. So please, um, you know, as you watch, chat along, play, play along with us. So during the game, after our two teams have played, um, have, have played, we will turn to the audience in many cases to help us decide a winner. That's right. So we will, uh, throughout the night, you will see some um, polls launched in the, oh, I'm going to try to multitask right now. You will see some polls launched in the chat. Um, they'll be up for about a minute and now uh, you'll have a minute to cast your vote. And that is how in many times points will be awarded. Yes, you decide who the winner is. And lastly, um, you know, this isn't, uh, there's a lot of a lot of rules in sports and there's a lot of rules in comedy sports. Our manual is huge, but there is an incredibly um, important, important rule, an important foul. After all, this is a sports match and we call it the out of bounds foul. Yes, throughout the night, uh, we will keep an eye out on the chat and the, um, oh, I never launched this poll. Uh-oh, uh-oh, my mistake. Um, so right now I'm going to put up this little poll and then I'll get back to these fouls. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it has been quite a week. I don't know about you, but I'm very excited for the upcoming um, holiday break. <laughs> Can you tell that my, my mind and my brain just needs it? I'm sorry. I'm making this too much about uh, myself right now. But you know what? I have all of your captive attention. Um, so there we go. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. This is how a poll works, right? Thank you. Someone's got my back. That's a wonderful thing about comedy sports and this comedy community. So like I said, we want to keep it a family-friendly community, for shows for all ages. So we have one foul, the out of bounds foul. Um, please, during the chat, we, and do, uh, we do not want to see anything rude or crude or anything with a bad attitude. We're the one place on the internet that is truly for, um, for all ages. So again, thank you. Oh, I'm seeing some very good categories in here. I would love if you could keep putting some in there types of tea. I'm a big tea drinker. Although with how fast I'm talking, you might think I've had a lot of coffee today. You're wrong. I've had one cup. Um, so thank you everyone. We see how a poll works. Yes. Yes. All right. Enough from announcer needs or a need, sir. I saw that in there. That's a good one. I'm going to workshop this. Um, talk to you about what comedy sports is, how we get suggestions from you, how to use the chat, how to vote in polls, and I think last but not least, we just have to bring up our teams. Let's bring out the, let's bring out the players. All right, party people. This is going to be an incredible night of comedy. We are so excited that Yvette will be here. We'll have a, a spoiler alert of who's, who's wrapping the match. Uh, our last show celebrating our wonderful coach, Yvette. <laughs> I thought about doing it at the end of the show. Anyway, we have the Red Sullivan shows. Please welcome to the screen, Joe Rodriguez. And we have Katie Waldron. And last but certainly not least, their captain, Thomas P. Clune. They are going to be up for some very, very stiff competition. But if there's one team that might have a chance at beating them, it's going to be the Lincoln Park Blue Lights. Very excited. We have Christian Zerke joined by EO. Captain by Sean Jasko. Oh man, I am so ready. I'm already so excited for this. And you know who we absolutely cannot do it without? You've heard me talk about her. The woman of the hour, the person we love and adore so much. It is absolutely our ref of that Jaskowitz. Come on out. Oh my gosh, Nina. I've been holding back tears since you started. No. Like, I, I don't know. I know. This is a very emotional night for me. Now, listen, I don't want anyone to get scared off. I'm not going anywhere. I will still be performing with Comedy Sports Chicago. I just will no longer be the head coach of the house team program, head coach of minor league, run and rec league. I'm going to take some time to be with family, you know, and pass the torch to someone else and let them freshen things up and take things into their own hands and very excited for whoever that new person is going to be to pass that baton. But tonight I'm excited to go out in a blaze of glory, 
premiering a new game that we all had a hand in together. What a nice little bow, right, at the end of this uh, to have a little stamp in the creation of this original game. I know we're hyping it up, but trust me, it is so cool. <laughs> Nina, so right? Good. I am so excited, man. I can't believe I tried to give you a great shout out and an intro knowing I was like, this is, it was too emotional, right? As soon as I started talking about how wonderful you've been as our, as our head coach. And then I uh, made it sound a little bit like it was your eulogy, which was absolutely not my intention. So I'm happy yeah. that you cleared everything up <laughs> because I really just swing and missed all of that. I thought about saving it to the end because I was going to get overwhelmed. I should have, but I just wanted mm -hmm. to share the love starting from minute one share the love oh, for you. Well, thank you. Well, I love everyone here. And Nina, let's get this match started. You you shared the out of bounds foul. There's one more foul that me as a ref, I need to identify mama bear ref, ref Jasco, whatever you want to call me. I am happy with either of those. A ref that. whatever, Nina, you have fun with it. But our, our, our rule that I need to share is our technical foul. And what that is, uh, we are performing virtually. So if anyone needs to be heard and they are muted, they might lose points. If their camera glitches, if just something goes up technically that shouldn't happen and it does, they could lose points. They could have a disadvantage. It depends on how it happens and when it happens. So, you know, I'm tough but fair, Nina. You know my reputation. So we'll see how this shakes out. That's all. That sounds very fair. I mean, we've been on Zoom for what now? 200, 300, 400 years, it seems. Um, you know, but once Long in a while, time. once in a while, those mute buttons and this Wi Fi, it just, you know, decides to up and quit on me. Yeah. And you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm reffing in a chair and I feel good about it. I'm, I'm cool with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Enough chit chat. Let's get started. I'm excited. Let's please get our two captains to the screen. Oh, Sean and Thomas, please show a sign of, of camaraderie, uh, competition and respect. Uh, 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 how do you do? Uh, uh, I'm very well. Uh, how is your day been so far? It's been pretty good. Excited to be here. Uh, me too. It's, it's great to see you again on our most uh, of sacred holidays, of course, Animal New Year. Animal New Year. <laughs> yeah. We should talk Animal more New about Year. Animal New Year. Oh. Animal New Year. Well, hello. Hello, uh, Sean, captain of Lincoln Park Blue Lights, and Thomas, captain of the Red Sullivan Show. So for our coin toss, see, now you're going to call a game, and the whole both mm -hmm. your teams are going to play it. But only one of you can choose what game it's going to be. And in order to do that, I'm going to have a little, little competition here to determine. You each came up with these team names. You each came up with, you know, who, who you are in this moment right now. I want you to tell me why your team is going to win tonight. And whoever I feel the most confident in, I'm going to give you an advantage to see if you can get those first points. So, Thomas, your team was introduced first, so I will turn it over to you. Uh, absolutely. Our team is definitely going to win tonight because in our pre-show warm-up, we have conquered our uh, retail jokes. Ooh, retail jokes. Interesting. A little uh, inside info. Okay, okay. I'm into it. And Sean, now your turn. Why are you going to win tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we're going to win tonight because we've got, uh, we're being fueled by eggnog, spiked eggnog. And uh, and we're just we're just going in for the business, you know what I'm saying? Just gonna burn it all down, light it up. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by in it for the business, mm -hmm. and I can't follow that story. So I'm gonna go with Thomas. I'm gonna I, I feel a little confident with Thomas right now. A little questionable on your uh, mental capacity right now, Sean, when you said spiked eggnog. So oh, just a let's little. get I'm, I'm just fine. a smidge. Okay, mm -hmm. just a smidge, Thomas. Yep. Uh, I'm absolutely. gonna call you. What do you want to call? I absolutely have a game prepared, but I'm just gonna help you out here. That eggnog was made by our good friend Spike. Uh, that's why it's spiked eggnog. Uh, on that oh. note, I'm gonna Look call the game of Simon another friend of ours. <laughs> Yay, Simon! All right, let's get uh, two players to the screen, one from each team. 
All right, so for the game of Simon, our players will be going back and forth and one-upping, adding to a story, they'll go back and forth one at a time. So one of them will start with saying a sentence, then the next person will have to repeat that sentence and then add on to it. Then goes back those first two sentences, then add on a third one. It doesn't always have to be sentences though, it could be sound effects. Who knows? It's up to them. The biggest thing is I need to follow the pattern. So if one of them uh, does not repeat something correctly, if they do it differently, if their mind explodes, if they forget something, that player will have to leave the screen and the team with the most people left, which means the team who has the most eliminations first will lose so that's how this goes right no oh, man i'm so emotional all right let's get these first up we need you know it would have been great if i would have gotten suggestions before explaining this right yep let me just look and see what's in here you know what i saw something earlier and nina said it and i liked it so i'm just gonna say t t is your suggestion for other suggestions for simon can i get uh some locations please i would love that the mostest all right sean and joe we are going to start with joe because uh joe your captain won this coin toss players are you ready oh ready. yeah all right begin Spicy, but not too spicy for me. Mm, that's a spicy, but not too spicy for me. Did you walk the dog yet? Mm, that's a spicy, but not too spicy for me. Did you walk the dog yet? Because I got to give him some of this tea. That's a spicy, but not too spicy for me. Did you walk the dog yet? Cause I gotta get him some of this tea. Hey, Carol! <laughs> That's a spicy, but not spicy for me. Hey, did you walk the dog yet? Cause I gotta give him some of this tea. Hey, Carol! Bring out the joke! Joe, you didn't say Carol the way Sean said Carol. It was very guttural. I'm sorry, you two are so great at this. I had to find a reason to get out. That is one rotation for the red team. Unfortunately, the Red Sullivan shows. Let's get our next red player up. Sean gets to stay on screen. Ooh, burning it down to the ground. Katie, hello. hello. How you feeling? How feel you doing, good. Katie? You good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Fine. Feeling good. Feel all good. right. All right, all right, all right. Now, players, friendly reminder is we are repeating these. We don't have all night, so move a little faster. Let's really ramp this up to up the difficulty and see how it goes. Katie will go first uh, since her team just walked in. She has the advantage there. So uh, Times Square is your suggestion, Katie. Times Square is your suggestion. Players, are you ready? Yes. Oh, yeah. Begin. Holy cow, look at the lights! Holy cow, look at the lights! A kink? Holy cow, look at the lights! A kink? Excuse me, sir, can you take our picture? Holy cow, look at the lights! A kink? Excuse me, sir, can you take our picture? Mwah! Sorry, she said, honey, will you marry me? Clearly a different story you were telling. I couldn't hear that. Well, sorry, you should have. All right, one blue player down. Let's get our next blue player up to the screen. One rotation for each team. Christian, how are you doing? How oh, you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm ready to go. I'm loving the backwards hat. You Thank look you. awesome. 
Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Your team will go first since you just walked in. Your uh, your suggestion is a French restaurant. A French restaurant. Players, begin. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Would you like some cheese? Bonjour. Would you like some cheese? It's extra French. <laughs> Bonjour, would you like some cheese? It's extra French, like moi. Bonjour, would you like some cheese? It's extra French, like moi. Cham or Chandler, what was I about to call you? Chandler, oh my God. I'm so emotional, it's been a day. Christian. Thank you, Monica. Your accent, your, <laughs> oh, such Monica. Your accent did not appear when you got close to the camera the first time, and then it showed up the second time you did it. I am sorry. That means you are out. Two rotations. Two rotations for the blue team. Let's get EO, AKA Elizabeth Olsen to the screen. How are you doing tonight? I am so good, Yvette. Should I make you cry now or later? <laughs> uh, I'm crying the whole time. I just, just okay, know that, cool. it, that it's happening. Um, but. EO, you're the last person standing for your team. So if you get out five points, go to the Red Sullivan shows. But again, your team gets to start to get that advantage. Your suggestion, ooh, R.I. Nolson just got this in, and it is fantastic. In a submarine. In a, a submarine. submarine? Yes. Okay. Players, begin. Ahoy! Ahoy! Shoot the missiles! Ahoy! <laughs> shoot the missiles! It's a game! Ahoy! Shoot the missiles! It's a game! Oh, Katie, you were supposed to add on to that! Oh no! Mind explosion! Sorry, Katie. You are out. We are getting our final red player up to the screen. It is Thomas. Thomas, I already know how you're doing, but how are you feeling at this point? Uh, I'm feeling pretty groovy. I know it's going to hit and I'm going to have that spot where we're all crying. But right now, I'm <laughs> happy to be here. Hey, hey, I love it. Your team will go first for this final round because we are down to our last two players. And whoever wins is going to get five big points. Looking at the chat box here. And you know what? I'm just going to go with foam finger. Foam finger. Thomas, begin. Whoa! Woo! Go state! Woo! Go state! You're my favorite team! Woo! Go state! You're my favorite team! Can I be on the team? Woo! Go state! You're my favorite team! Can I be on the team? Oh, I'm so good at everything! Woo! Go state! Can I be on the team? Woo! I'm so full of everything! EO, I don't think that was right. I think you might have mixed some stuff up. I no, am so was... sorry. Mm, you're right. Yep, I am right. Five points go to the Red Sullivan Show! Sixes and sevens in the chat. Oh, that music. So sweet. That was really good. I don't think I've heard that holiday song before. I know. I don't think I have either. But you know what else I haven't seen before? That awesome of a round of Simon. They crushed it. That was so fun and so hard. Yeah, I, they made it very difficult for themselves. But that's what you get. 8 p.m.'s Wednesday nights on Minor League, baby. I'll tell you what. That's what you get all the energy you know what i still feel kind of bad about this can we give a point to the lincoln park blue lights for me calling christian by an incorrect name uh one of my co-workers is chandler and i was talking to her all day today so that is probably why and they both have very similar personalities and i still feel terrible and i will never live it down um i am so sorry christian but you get a bonus point yay <laughs> so the blue team what is the score now nina the blue team now has one, and the red team now has five. Ooh, that means we're going to see a team choice game from the red team. Let's get Captain Thomas up here, yeah? 
Thomas, ooh, what are you drinking? Uh, as you know, on Animal New Year, uh, one of the best traditions is we drink a lot of Arizona iced tea. So this is just oh. a lot of Arizona iced tea. Oh, well, I hope you can make it through the whole match without having to go out to the backyard. Uh, well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing skirt in the line of out of bounds. Thomas, what do you want to play for your uh, team choice to keep in the lead? Uh, well, another one of our traditions is winning. Uh, so we are definitely going to win with this particular game. We're going to play the game of Good, Bad, Worst Party Planning Edition. Ooh, I like that. Please field your team. <laughs> Okay, we have three panelists up here who are all party planners. So I want to get some questions in the Twitch chat box of questions that are centered around planning a party. There's a lot of pressure around the holidays of planning a party. Who do you invite? What decorations do you have? Whatever kind of questions, throw them in there. And our three players are gonna be answering those questions, but we also need suggestions for their characters. So can I just please get objects from around your house or animals that you really love? And we'll see how this all shakes out. Do, 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 let's see what comes through. So I want questions and I want animals or objects. Here we go. Okay, the first one I see is a fan. So Joe, your suggestion is fan. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Katie, your suggestion is confetti cannon. Ooh. And Thomas, your suggestion is garlic press. Garlic press, I love that. So those are your three suggestions. This is good, bad, worst advice. So Thomas, before your characters introduce themselves, do we know who is doing good, bad, and worst? Uh, uh the order that you call us in the first person will do good the first second person will do bad and the third person will do worse because we i got, love it we've got everything primed and ready for you <laughs> this is great though it'll really keep you on your toes okay let's get so oh i love these questions please have them come keep coming through but before i get to your questions i want to meet i want to meet our panelists so let's please start uh, who I see in the top left of the screen holding two things in their hands. Yeah, hello, it's me, TJ Fansby. Uh, I was just walking down the street one day and fell into a radioactive vat of fans. Now my hands are fans, kind of weird. Uh, TJ Fansby will be giving us good advice. Thank you. And then next, I see uh, in the backwards cap, what is your name? Yo, what good? My name is Timothy. You want a t-shirt? Who wants a t-shirt? <laughs> and Timothy will be giving bad advice. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, uh, please introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, hello, uh, my name is Tony Rigatoni, and I am your local insurance agent from the Bronx, and I will be giving the worst advice. Oof, Tony Rigatoni, oh my goodness, so nice to meet all of you, you'll be giving the worst advice, yes. All right, the first question for my panelists, does everyone need to come bearing gifts? Do I need to bring a gift? when I go to a party every time. Let's start with TJ Fansby. I would say your presence alone at a party is gift enough. Oh, that is some good advice. Uh, Timothy. Guess what? You don't need to bring a gift because I'm Timothy and I got sharks. Oh! <laughs> Timothy always comes with the gifts. Uh, Tony Rigatoni. Uh, as you know, no matter what you brew or bring, whether it be food, just yourself, or all of your joy, I'm going to take 12.7% right off the top. If I have to go out to a wholesale broker, they're also going to take a percentage away from me, which means that all of the percentage of the gift that you bring is, needs to be spread out thin. And that, of course, has to go to our underwriter, and you don't even want to know how much percentage they're going to take out of this. It's 22 Wow, that's good to know, 
It's pretty, uh, it's under a quarter though, under a quarter percent. That's not too shabby. Let's get to our next question. Get to our next question. Ooh, who is hosting Christmas this year? Who's going to be the host? Joe, uh, TJ fans, be good advice. Yes, it's certainly not Bruce T uh, T Tonsby, uh, who happens to look and sound just like me. He's a billionaire. Um, he uh, had, he's never in the same place as me, but it's it's him, but it's not me. You know, I mean. <laughs> I don't think I do know what you mean, but that's okay. Uh, Timothy, who's hosting Christmas this year? Guess what? I worked for the Bulls this year, so they're hosting and they got free shirts. <laughs> <gasps> Very cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, Tony Rigatoni. Uh, you know, at Tony Rigatoni and Associates, uh, we like to go and throw weekly happy hours. Uh, you're welcome to come by and meet the plenty of different other people that will be able to host it. It's a, a more of a, a mixer, mingle around. There's no real one centering kind of person. Uh, that's kind of a bougie, and we're not that kind of an insurance agency, if you know what I mean. Ooh, that I think I do know what you mean. I think I do know what you mean. All right, let's get another question coming through here. Ooh, how do you get on the nice list? How do you get on the nice list? TJ Fansby, what good advice do you have? Yeah, I would say just uh, good, good, do good deeds, help out others, fight crime, you know. How are your hands yeah, doing? But, my shoulders are a little, uh, <laughs> a little sore. <laughs> Yeah, I would think so. Uh, Timothy, how do you get on the nice list? Oh, guess what? I got two words for you. T-shirts! Oh, baby! <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know if it's giving t-shirts, making t-shirts. All it is is t-shirts. That's why it's bad advice. Uh, Tony Rigatoni. How do you get uh, on the I tell list? you what, I don't know how to get onto the good list, but I definitely know how to get onto the naughty list. Uh, so I personally, of course, uh, host Santa Claus at my house every December 25th, uh, right in the middle of the night. And the first year that he came over, would you believe it or not, I didn't have a PDINA in, uh, insurance policy, which is a, a personal a professional damage and personal advertising injury, which means if I don't have coverage for Santa, Santa's going to get hurt when he slips down my chimney. Every time Santa slips down your chimney, automatic naughty list for the rest of the year. The solution? Buy insurance for me, Tony Rigatoni, your professional insurance agent from the Bronx. That's time! I don't want to get your insurance! This sounds complicated. I didn't quite know what to expect with that song when it started. I thought it was like a little animal jingle bell thing. I thought so too. Um, but as per usual, the hot tunes that are coming out of the, out of out of this Twitch between the, in their song breaks are are wonderful. And I'm always introduced to songs I don't think I've ever um, wanted to hear before, but I'm always happy that I did. Yeah, courtesy of our stage manager Ryan Ford. Give it up. Huge Sixes snaps. and sevens. Huge snaps. Sixes, Sixes and, sevens and sevens for Ryan Ford. And you know what? Ryan Ford doesn't even help out with just minor league. Why this Twitch, this CSEN Twitch network is active nearly seven nights a week. I saw that in the in the chat, our whole schedule went up there. So we have yeah. a variety of shows happening all, six days a week. That's a lot of nights for comedy. The weather gets cold. You don't want to go outside. Don't worry. CSEN, we've got your comedy every night. You've already watched everything on Netflix. Just admit it, right? I know. I know. And also, if you're really in the holiday spirit, karaoke on Mondays is all holiday themed this season. So did you watch very Monday? Fun. This was it. Uh, no, a I did not. Whoa. OK, I will Sorry. not give any spoilers. It was a huge. It was huge. It was. I okay. was it was wild. Well, the beautiful thing is you can rewatch shows on our Twitch channel and watch them live. Right. Yes. Great. So I can watch this back and just cry over and over again. Let's get to the next team, Nina. We just, we saw two teams. No, we didn't. We haven't seen the Lincoln Park Blue Lights play their team choice. Oh my goodness, you are so right. I was captivated by Simon. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Uh, Captain Sean, you okay there? Where's Sean? I need Captain Sean to describe. Oh, hey. Oh, 
heck, I'm, I'm so sorry about the uh, menorah. Look at these balls I found. Oh, those are pretty. They're holiday balls. This is, oh, there they go. Uh, do we have any more eggnog? Um, I personally do not have any more eggnog, but what I do oh. have room for is more laughs. So I need to know what your team oh. choice is going to be, Captain Sean. Totally. So, uh, uh, in honor of in honor of uh, yeah. Spider Man No Way Home oh. coming out, Ooh, oh, yeah. we're gonna play the the game called Parallel Universe. Ooh, so, good call. Let's get your team to you. the screen. Team to the screen. Oh. All right, Sean called Parallel Universe. Throw in some more locations into this chat box. I will see if I can find some from earlier, uh, but definitely uh, let's get some locations in there. Parallel Universe, you're going to see three different scenes located in three different locations. I will blow my whistle and tell them where they are, and I can tell them to switch as many times as I want, and they'll know where they're going when I say the name of that location. Three different scenes. This gets wild. I'm loving it. All right. So your first, your first location is the Disney monorail. The Disney monorail. Katie Waldron backstage. Her jaw just dropped. I don't know if you saw her Mickey ears, but she's a huge Disney fan. And I think she's upset that she is not playing this game right now. Uh, ooh, the next one uh, is Fogo de Chao. <laughs> Fogo de Chao. Oh, I man. think that's how you pronounce it, but meats on sticks, great. Oh, <laughs> this this is fun. This is fun. The Denver Airport, DIA. I used to live in Denver. It's got circus tents. It's got this crazy blue demonized horse that's just out as you pull in. Maybe fit that in there. You might get some bonus points. I don't know. All right, anyway, your three locations are, Sean, please repeat these for me as the captain. I'm a little concerned about your state of mind. No, I'm great. I just had some coffee. Um, uh, so it's Disney Monorail, Foga uh -huh. to Chow, and uh, Denver Airport. <laughs> nice. Look at you. All right, we are going to start on the Disney Monorail. Players, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Begin. This Ooh. is our home and this is our place. Oh god. Oh. Yeah. There's Another so one much of those. To look at. Where do you even start? You you need to get back on the cart, okay? I I'm sorry. I was I was just astounded by the lights. The lights look, everywhere. I only have to be a Fogo to Chow. Welcome to the Fogo de Chao. Where you, you like... will get your meat on a stick. Oh, have we got the meat yes. for you? Yes! Arby's, show us it up the meat. with my hands, right? Arby's? Oh, Fogo Are de you Chao. afraid? You will be. Denver International Airport. So I, I just think what's happening here is the Illuminati. If you stare into that horse's eyes, you will be transported into the bunker beneath the airport. Yeah, Spencer, Spencer, um, I would love to listen to your conspiracy theories, but I have a headache and um, I am on a 14 hour trip, so. When are we gonna depart? We will depart. Disney monorail. Oh, God. Wait, okay. Okay, Carl, hold on to my feet while I lean out, okay? Hey, no getting out of the cars. How many times Fogo have to chow. Cars, kids? You like this side of beef? <laughs> I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I am just getting stuffed to the rafters. My gills oh. are swollen. That is what we do here at Fogo de Chow. Oh, ah, the flare! Like <gasps> Tenderloin. Oh, no, no, no. Denver Airport. There is some very creepy. Yes, I get it. The runways are a map for the New World Order. Yes. Fogo de Chow. 
this. Nah, 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 nah. This is the you meat. You guys are right. It's a good, it's a good place to eat some meat. Disney <laughs> monorail. Whee! <laughs> oh, oh, watch out! Time! Give it up for our players in parallel universe. Do do do. Nina. Nina. Ooh. It was just like a jazzy little hour. Okay, so Nina, I don't know if Christian knew this, but his team just earned two bonus points because not only did he mention the demonized blue horse, but also there are conspiracy theories that DIA has like Area 51 alien stuff involved with the airport. It is wild. Look it up. Christian's nodding backstage, so maybe he got a little sneaky. I'm not sure. But yeah, two bonus points, Nina. That's incredible. I've, I've written it down in pen. So that we're not going back from this point. But I, I recently was at the Denver International Airport for the first time, and I learned <gasps> that all the kooky art, I didn't know you were from there, um, but all of, or you've, you've lived there, but all the kooky art, apparently Denver has like, it's, um, if you build a new construction, this will be a very quick story. If you build a new construction, a certain amount of your budget for the new construction has to be spent on art. So building an airport is so expensive. Therefore, like that percentage that they had to spend on art is, was pretty high. So they just piled all of this kooky art into the airport and that's why the denver international airport has so much art oh my god so many airport facts i want to continue the story but we need to get a poll up first we can continue the story while the loyal fans are voting but nina get that poll up tell loyal fans how can they vote all right loyal fans you will see i launched a poll successfully this time i might add um and i am so excited for you to vote in it so again on the right hand side of your screen you will see a uh, at the top of your chat box you'll be able to vote and if one vote is not enough for you you can vote with something we call channel points if you have any if you've been watching you will have points that you'll see at the bottom of that little screen apply them here Give, them, give a lot towards the teams that you love, the point, the, the, the who you want to see those points go to. Remember, the more comedy sports shows you watch, the more channel points you accumulate. That way you're able to participate <gasps> even more. Our timing is getting so down, or our, our points are getting so down oh to gosh. the wire. I don't know who are, is going to get these big points. The Lincoln sure. Blue Lights. Ooh, the Lincoln Park Blue Lights or the Red Sullivan shows, I don't know who it's going to be, but a lot of people also don't realize that the Denver International Airport is very far east. It's not close to the mountains at all. Was this a close bowl or was it a landslide? This was this was a close. My eyes can't see. Oh, my gosh. This was pretty. I've, this was very, very close. <laughs> Sorry, I have to lead in so far into this, this tiny screen to see everything. But, I mean, the poll is closed and we have a winner. It is the Red Sullivan shows. Oh, give it up for the Red Sullivan Show. So sorry, Lincoln Park Blue Lights. That's five points. Nina, what does that bring our score to? I am very excited to let you know that our current score, that so the five points went to the Red Sullivans. Oh, wait, isn't it? It's also right below. Don't, I believe it is six. It's three to ten. I'm going to go with what's on the screen. Three to ten. Very nice. Thank you so much. So Red Team's in the lead. Let's get our two captains to the screen. Also, too, Nina, I wanna. I was gonna. I was gonna say this, and then I saw someone make a comment, and now I just. I have to. Um, we need to lose. We need to take away a point from the blue team because EO was not engaged during that voting. She was in her own world. I don't know if it was an How emergency, you? but I didn't see anything. You know, so losing a point. So now it's ten to two. I'm sorry. These She's got to be excited so, to get those points. They're so. These points. Oh, oh Elizabeth. <laughs> no, Elizabeth. Oh, we love you, though. I love you so much. <laughs> okay, that was terrifying. Please don't do that again. <laughs> All right, Sean and Thomas, it is time for our last head-to-head -head for this match. Sean, I see you've got some extra decor there. What you got? 
Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's Santa. <laughs> the weather outside is weather. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Thomas, do you have any props near you? Any uh, holiday themed? I have a, I have a Hanukkah. Oh, <gasps> what is that? A Hanukkah is uh, a menorah for Hanukkah. They have a different number of candles for Hanukkah than they do uh, during the rest of the year. Oh, cool. Very cool. Whoa. That looks awesome. Also, I am digging, digging those lights. Awesome. Okay. We need to get going. We need to get going. Sorry. I'm just, I'm very distracted by Sean and what he's doing over there. Uh, Sean, let, let's, let's, let's focus up. Your mm -hmm. team is not winning. So now I want to give you the no. advantage. What do you want to play for this team head to head game? Ba -ba -da -bow! Our team is so good at impressions. So let's do, um, let's do screen test. Screen test. Oh, I love it. Let's field your team to the you got screen. It. Come on, team. All right. So, for the game of screen test, I need celebrities. I need movies. Celebrities could be any type of celebrity. It could be an athlete. It could be an actor. It could be a musician. It could be a fictional character. But movies are movies. But you know what? Maybe I'll do TV shows too. You gotta do screen tests for TV shows. It's not just for movies. So let's slam this chat box filled with these. Now, one at a time, I'm going to call on our players burn box style. So when they say their name, they have to immediately do what I ask of them. So they need to do an impression of that person saying a line of dialogue from that movie or that TV show. It's very fun. We'll see. We'll see how much, see how many movies and uh, celebrities we have here. I don't know why I'm starting to sound like Tony Rigatoni. Uh, what's up? Hey! Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. So your first movie is Space Jam. Your first movie is Space Jam. And your first celebrity, all right, uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, I'm going to start with Christian Billy Madison. Golf in a space movie. Whip. Uh, uh, Elizabeth Olsen, Rob Schneider. We gotta fight the monsters. Aha! Joe, Annie. Hee <laughs> hee. Swish. <laughs> Katie, Ariana Grande. Michael, oh, Michael, would you be on our team? We need your help. Sean, Danny DeVito. <laughs> ah, everybody get up. It's time to slam now. <laughs> Thomas, Toby McGuire. Uh, I'm a Lola Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, I love it. Your next movie is West Side Story. West Side Story, and Katie, Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> Not here, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who that is? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, all right, we're going to keep going. EO, Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, the sharks and the jets <laughs> makes me want a hot dog real bad. <laughs> Sean, Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, are we on the east side or are we on the west side? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Legally blonde. That's what she's best known for. Very, very nice. Uh, Christian Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. I just met a girl named Maria. Wow. Joe Macaulay Culkin. Once upon a time in the West Side. <laughs> Thomas, Jerry Stiller. Yeah, I want to live in America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we're changing the movie to Peter Pan. Peter Pan, 
Joe, Jason Bateman. You put uh, Tinkerbell in the fridge. What? <laughs> Thomas, Jason Bateman. <laughs> You just have to think good thoughts and then you fly. <laughs> Christian, Jason Bateman. Yeah, I'm everyone's favorite straight man, Jason Bateman. Uh, clap your hands if you believe. <gasps> EO, Jason Bateman. Damn. Sean, Jason Bateman. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Look, an alligator ate my hand. And we're going to take care of it. Katie, Jason Bateman. Hey, uh, the second star to the right. And then straight on to morning. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, fair, fair, full discrepancy, full discrepancy. Um, in my head, I said Jason Bateman, but in my mind, I heard Jason Statham. So I was like, no one is what? doing <laughs> Jason like, Statham. Jason Bateman? <laughs> no one is doing this voice. But then once I realized it was Jason Bateman, I was like, well, let's see how they can do just someone who's pretty generic. <laughs> pretty nondescript. Like, and you know what? what? Y'all crushed it. Bonus points to each team, Nina. That was fantastic. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to do we're going to do this next movie. This next movie is going to be Mary Poppins. The next movie is Mary Poppins. Thomas Marilyn Monroe. Oh, uh, just a spoonful of sugar will help that medicine go down. <laughs> Christian Liza Minnelli. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfect, perfect in every way. <laughs> We can't top that. Let's give it up for yes. our players. Yes. <laughs> Fossey. <laughs> hey, hey, everyone. Thank you. Oh. Nina, Nina, I said, hey, everyone, because I was, I was trying to help with the transition, but really, I just wanted to talk to you that, again, one of the best Simons I've ever seen, one of the best screen tests I've ever seen. They crushed that. That was so funny. I can't, the Jason, at a certain point, I was like, is the vet messing with everybody? Because Jason, I was like, how would one do Jason bait? Like, you just be, <laughs> as someone said, a very, um, you know, does it, yeah, a very generic yeah, like person. Yeah. But you know what they all did? They all did a really nice job. They did so great. This is going to be so hard for the audience to vote. We need to get a poll because the audience needs to decide which team they thought did better at screen test. The impressions, the lines of dialogue, the movie knowledge, which Jason Bateman was the best. Who had it? Who had it? All right, all right, all right. Nina. The poll is launched. The poll's going quick. We're almost at the end Poll's going. here. Poll's I going. It. It was EO is engaged. EO is engaged. She's <laughs> not losing a point. She wants her team to win. Ooh, Thomas brought out a little parrot. Thomas brought out a parrot. Sean is grabbing at the camera, desperate for votes. Christian is kissing the crowd. Katie and Joe are both referencing that they have red objects to remind you that they are on the red team. That parrot is also red. EO is doing some magic arms. Christian is pointing to his biceps, showing those arms to prove that he is also on the blue team. Sean is crying at this point. He is so desperate for your points what's it coming down to nina i am sweating the seconds are ticking down and it is so so close we have a lot of channel points going uh being <gasps> used and at the end they helped the red sullivan shows <gasps> go to hollywood baby oh my god uh this this is uh this is surprising to me this is surprising to me nina what's our score now are that brings our score up to 16 for the Red Sullivans and three for the Lincoln Blue Lights. Okay, Nina, I have I have a question for you because sometimes I feel old when it comes to Twitch, okay? Uh-huh. 
And maybe I'll see everyone's expression on their faces when I say this. How on earth can someone contribute a hundred? Now, Allie does improv. This is great. I'm genuinely wondering, how do you contribute 197 channel points in that amount of time? Because when I use channel points, I like click and I'm good. But how do you get so many? I am thinking because I've, I've, I've run my own experience, um, experiments with this because I think, and mm -hmm. I truly think it's just rapid, rapid, rapid clicking. Once you have all those channel points locked up. Yeah. Thomas is backing me up, right? You just have to rapid click because when you're given the poll option, you can see if you've accumulated channel points, the only way to accumulate them is keep watching more shows. Um, you can do one at a time and one at a time. I think it's just a real rapid click. Okay, Allie Does Improv just says she has over 200,000 points. Never misses a show. You accumulate a lot. But you you just sit there and you click. It's all about the pace. It's not necessarily like, oh, well, I can select 10 points and 10 points. You have to individually click. Wow. Nope, correct. I've controlled That's... that you, yep, yeah, you can, it's there one at a time. And first the want, wow. I would say, starts in your heart. The want starts Aww. in your heart. You see the pull, it goes to your brain, and then it goes down to those uh, rapid fire fingies. Wow, rapid fire fingies. Interesting. Lots of clicking, conf confirmation, lots of clicking, lots of clicking. So uh, our stage manager has let us know that we need to uh, stretch some time just a little bit while we we're getting prepared for our. Can I say our... something? Yes, Sean. Please. Can I say something? So. Can would it be possible? Would it be possible if we could get like seven, five to seven extra, like, pity points because everybody at this party hates me? Oh no! <laughs> it's oh, that just a of... sad little reindeer. <laughs> okay. All right. You sold me. Okay. You get one point for 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 trying. For, for, for trying uh -huh. to get some points. You get one point uh -huh. for the Jennifer Coolidge that, that I realized that that I didn't give to you. And then you get another point because I, I know how you feel. You're trying your hardest and you're just not getting those votes. So you said five to seven, I'll give you three. Okay, can I have like 12 more? No, you can't have 12 more. What? Points, sorry. No more 12, but, but you are a cute little reindeer. I, uh, okay. I have to, I have to bring this up, event. You're just giving extra points to the blue team tonight. Red team hasn't gotten any extra points, so Maybe I would like you should earn them. So I would like to earn it. If I can shotgun this entire Arizona iced tea, will you give us five extra bonus points? Because I know our next game it's gonna get pretty intense. Where'd they even get that? You know how can I? How can I turn that down? Go. Oh my we god. Okay. Music. If I eat some mini M&Ms, can I have like a hundred extra bonus points? Is this no, right? we are we are done with the challenges. I'm gonna eat them, Thomas. I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> Thomas, that's so much iced tea. You're gonna have to go outside to the party. How am I letting this happen? <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Is this what you want? That's a tall boy <laughs> ice. That's like a lot of iced tea. Oh, that was fast. Let's give five points to Thomas. Sean, we'll give you we'll give you just a, a big thumbs up. Thanks for the effort with those M and M's. That was worth it. It's now time to move it? into. Now the scores it's worse. okay. <laughs> All right. That's true. Let's move into the business. What? Let's move into the business. Nina, play this game. what's our score? Okay. After that r incredible round of bonus point, um, earn them, want them, get them however you want. I am very excited to let you know that Captain Sean and the, um, the, the Lincoln Blue Lights are at a steady six points. Well. Okay. Well, the red team, the Red Sullivan shows are at 21 heading into this. Ooh, Ooh, six to 21? Six to 21. Dang. Well, listen, this next game, all the points are on the line. It is anybody's match. Captains, it is time. Can I get a drum roll from everybody? A brrrr. 
Bonjour. It is time to premiere Minor League's brand new original closing game, Category. Frame, 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 frame. Frame, 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 frame. Oh, yeah, graphic. All right, Category. This is the most incredible guessing game. It's got mime, it's got gibberish, and so much more. You know, blue team. You're not winning right now. You are behind in points. So your team will go first. So I need to, we all need to say goodbye to the Red Sullivan shows. Nina will message you all when it is time for you to return. Okay, so our first guesser for this category game is Christian, is Elizabeth. Elizabeth is our first guesser. So we will get Elizabeth to that top tile. And this is the game of category. So this is a guessing game. Each team has two minutes to guess as many things in a category as they can. There is a list of 10 words for each category that our stage manager, Ryan Ford, has put together. Nina was sneaky and she pulled categories from the chat box at the very beginning of the match. She sent them in the order of most difficult. So this first round will be the broadest and they will progressively get harder. We have three rounds of this, three categories. Each team gets to guess for each category. Whoever gets the most tick marks after both teams go, their team gets 10 points. Nina is gonna be keeping track of those tick marks. Then at the end, they get to guess what the category is because huzzah, the guessers don't know what the category is. So that is a little secret. They have an opportunity to get some bonus points there. And also one last thing, nobody knows the words. So the clue givers won't know what the words are until you see them on the screen, just like the loyal fans and the guests and the clue givers will see those in the same time. Here's some fun facts. Each guesser for each, sorry, each clue giver for each round gets one veto, but then that word in the category is gone. So then the most amount they could get is nine. But if the second player does it, then the most amount they could get is eight. So they are allowed one veto each per round per team. They can wash though as many times as they want. They do not have to get everything right. They just wanna try and get through that list to get as many out of 10 as they can. Woo! And of course, they can only do mime and gibberish. So every time the new word is on the screen, the guesser will turn around so everyone can see it and then turn back around and we will start doing mime and gibberish. Nina, is there anything that I'm forgetting? You nailed that. Yes! Wow. Yes! Wow. I just need, I need a real sixes and sevens pause. Pause. I want to see in the chat, is everyone so excited to be part of this minor league original huge closing guessing game called Cataglory? Cataglory! Cataglory. I need to see the love. I need to bump up that adrenaline. We are so excited to play this for oh you. Oh, my God. And, and this is like a forever minor league match. So you know how like comedy sports, Chicago does six things. Minor league's doing category and it's dope and it's super fun and cannot wait. And this is the first time we're doing it. All right, that is enough from me. So EO, I'm gonna need you to turn around and I need to get two minutes on the clock. We are not saying the category out loud because Elizabeth can hear us. So we're gonna say the category, who is my first clue giver? Oh, yeah. Sean. Sean will be the first clue giver. Perfect. We have two minutes on the clock. Players, are you ready? Oh, yes. yeah. All right. Comeback of the century. Begin. Let's go. <laughs> I, I didn't see the category, but great. Awesome. Oh, Skabada, Babada, Skibidi, Skibidi, Baba. Oh, Saba, Bashaka. Oh, oh. Uh, ooh, Saka, ba ba ba, and uh, ah, oh, crink, fridge, oh, ah, ba 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 ba, see, ba ba ba, la ba ba, kaka, king, ah, saba 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 saba, brat, 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 oh, kaka, 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 eh, oh, fried chicken, no, oh, saba sa, saba sa, saba. Oh, 
Saga, 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 Oh, uh, fifty seconds. Oh, uh, French fries. Forty seconds. Moving on. Turn around. Thirty seconds. Oh, Twenty seconds. Oh, uh, and this. Yeah, some of us. Zipisa, zipisa. Waffles. Zipisa, pa. No. Ten seconds. Some of us. 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 Pancakes. Yes, and your time is up. Your time is up. Those are the words that you got. Congratulations, Nina. Let's bring our next team to the screen. Goodbye, blue team. Great job. Let's bring our red team up once they are ready to go. Woo-wee! That was, that was excellent. That was excellent. Great clue giving, Sean and Christian. Great clue giving. That was very good. That was very Christian, good. do you know the category? Um, I have a guess, but I won't say it. But I, oh, don't I have the category. All right. Yep. I guess all good. Yeah, no all good. Okay, let's get that red team up. We have everybody here. We have everybody here and ready to go. Awesome. Okay, so when we will see the category when the first word is shown. So the category and the first word will be shown at the very beginning, and that is the only time we will see the category, and then the words will continue to populate as they come through. All right, red team. Blue team did a really good job. So no pressure. Joe is our first guesser. Katie's our first clue giver. We have two minutes on the clock. T uh, players, are you ready? Joe, yeah. turn around, please. All right, and two minutes on the clock. Um, uh, EO, I need you to turn around. There we go. And begin. Joe, I will have the opportunity for you to guess what that last thing is. What was it? 
Oh, that last thing was clearly a bagel. Ooh, it was not. I am so sorry. All right, let's get our two guessers up on the screen. Woo wee! Round one, round one was very strong. Nina, how many tick marks did Joe get? On the red team, Joe has one tick mark. One! Awesome. All right. And and how many did EO get? Two tick oh. marks. <gasps> oh, 10 points go to the Lincoln Park Blue Lights. Now 10 points. Now each guesser has the opportunity to guess the category. So the uh so the team that went second gets a little dis disadvantage. So what is the category, Joe? The category was uh, things in a kitchen. Okay, okay. And EO, what is the category? The category is, of course, breakfast foods. That is correct! It's five points! Breakfast foods! Yes! And also, and also, a technical foul removal of two points to the red team since it took a while for Thomas to get that audio going. I am so sorry. Nina, what is that score? Okay, so that score, that well, the, the, the blue team just brought in 15 points Woo on their round of categories. Yeah, we're back, baby. Yeah, so they're adding 15 to their six points. And while you do the math, I will also uh, take away two points from the red team. That All right, I'm seeing on the screen 21 oh, to go. 19. Man. 21 to 19. Woo we have such an incredible state that is, I, mental math is not my game. And you know what? Ryan Ford really is having my back here tonight. <laughs> yes, yes. I am loving it. You know, we don't know what those other breakfast food items were, and that is okay. Let's move on to the next category. The red team will go first this time, so goodbye, blue team. Nina will let you know when it is time to return. All right, round two, round two, round two. All right, now, stage manager Ryan Ford, just want to let you know you are crushing it during our first time doing this. Thank you so much. Sixes and sevens to Mr. Ryan Ford. Our next guesser is Thomas. Our clue givers are Joe and Katie. I need Thomas to turn around. All right, who is my first clue giver? Joe is our first clue giver. Players, got two minutes on the clock. We'll get two minutes on that clock. And begin. Oh, Kuka. The moon. No. Uh, minute thirty-three. Turn around. Oh, <laughs> One minute. So what here on Broadway? Turn around. Okay. Ten seconds. Kuskara. Three seconds. Ooh. That's time. That is time, Thomas. I will allow you to guess 
what that last thing was. Uh, it was very 100% clearly a gladiator. Ooh, it is not a gladiator, but Katie and Joe, great clue giving. Thomas, great guessing. Nina, please notify the blue team to return. Katie, that gibberish, I died. Joe, that last clue, very strong. Thomas, committed the whole way through. Great work, great work. Sixes and sevens, sixes and sevens as we welcome our next crew to the screen. Okay, now, stage manager Ryan Ford, I know you can hear me. Now, if you can, let's not see the same words. Let's continue down this list. Let's see what happens, what the new word is after the one we just saw. So let's not do our best to not see repeats. If we can pull that off. I know this is the first time we're doing this live, so we're still crushing it. All right, Christian, give a thumbs up. Can you hear us? Can Christian hear us? Christian is the guesser. We need Christian to be able to hear us. Where is Christian? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well, Christian is coming here. here. All right, Christian. Christian, yay! All right, it is time. Two minutes on the clock. Turn around. Thomas did great, so no pressure. Oh All right. Two minutes on the clock, and EO's our first clue giver. And begin. Oh, Oh, la la, we are in France. Oh, oh, We are in Paris. Oh, ha, ha, ha. So, papa, gata. Quack. the Eiffel Tower. Yes, turn around. Vito, actually. Vito, Vito. I don't All want right, it. Vito. Vito. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Gotta do it. Scabada. Ebaza. Sabagaba. Ooh, shoot, 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 Zabaka, Zabaka, Papa Sobo, Sobo, Pisa, Sobo, Chisa, one minute. Flu, Shuka, Pipa, Saba, Sapisa, Kaki, Saba, the Pago, Ooh, the uh, Pharaoh's tomb. Ooh, Sabaka, Sabaka, Pata, the da, to da, 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 Sabaka, Ki, Saba, Sapako, Satanti, Saka, British imperialism. Hello, one second. <laughs> Turn around. Oh wait, no, 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 that one. All right, go. Uh, 45 seconds. Hallelujah. 10 seconds. Red. Heavenly, heaven, heaven. Ooh, that is time. That is time. Christian, you said heaven, but would you like one more guess? Yes. What is it? I am at not just heaven, but those pearly gates on the streets of gold. Ooh, that is not correct, but really great guessing, really great clue giving. Let's get our two guessers to the screen. Next two guessers to the screen. That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, Nina, how many tick marks did Christian get? Christian received one tick mark. <gasps> one tick mark, one word. And how many did Thomas get? Zero tick marks. <gasps> oh, that's 10 points to the blue lights. 10 points to the blue lights. Ooh, you. But you know what? Now, huh? I know. As If you didn't pick up on this, I may have forgot to mention this. The team that's behind gets to watch the next team go. They can't see the words, but it helps them almost guarantee those five category points. So, disadvantage, Christian, you just went. What's the category? Oh, I think it is going to be 
places that I have never been to. Ooh, that is a very good guess. Thomas, what is your what is your guess? Uh, it is going to definitely be famous monuments. Ooh, it is not quite. That was a little too vague. It is international landmarks. <laughs> international landmarks. No one gets those five points. Our score is now 31 to 19. It is still anybody's game, though. It is still anybody's game. Whoo wee Let's get into that third round. Now, the first round, the one that no one could get was home fries. Home fries. This one, we had Eiffel Tower, Sydney Opera House, Buckingham Palace, Taj Mahal was vetoed, Machu Picchu is what Sean was giving you, Christian, and then some cathedral. It happened so quickly, I missed it. Elizabeth, what was it? St. Basil's Cathedral. Oh, St. Basil's Basil. Cathedral. Oh, that was easy, great. All right, it's easy. time for our third round. Let's do this. I need the red team to stay on. The blue team, see you later. Bye-bye. Katie is our final guesser. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's bring this home, lady. All right, Katie, I need you to turn around. Thomas looks like it's going to be our first clue giver. Two minutes on the clock for our final round. Ooh, I'm so excited. Nina, are you ready? I'm so pumped. All right, here we go. And begin. Beauty and the Beast. No. Gremlins. No. Oh, wash. All right, 23 wash. seconds. No, that's not right. All right. A veto. <laughs> veto. All right. <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> Two, one, turn! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Katie, what do you think that last one was? That was definitely the Wizard of Oz. Ooh, it was not the Wizard of Oz, but I love the commitment. Let's bring the blue team out. Nina, please notify the blue team that they can return. Katie, great guessing. Joe and Thomas, that clue giving. Whew, this is the third round. This is the most difficult round. This is the one that has the most amount of specificity. I thought you all did great. That's really tough. <sighs> all right, our blue team's here. Our blue team is here. All right, Katie can watch, but she cannot know the word, so she will turn around. Sean is our last guesser. He will turn around. They did great, Sean. It's now time we're to gonna see do if your better. team can take this. All right, turn around. Two minutes on the clock. Players, begin. Bam, bam. Zabala. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it. Yes, turn around. Uh, 
One minute. Oh, uh, uh, the cash run. No. <laughs> Flower cash run. No. Oh, watch, 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 watch. All right, turn around. Great job, great job. Woo, 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 woo. Sean, what do you think that last one was? If I had to guess, I believe the correct answer would be Nosferatu. <laughs> Ooh, that is not correct, but I love, I love the enthusiasm. I know. All right, let's get Sean and Katie to the screen. Sean and Katie to the screen. 15 points are on the line here. 15 points. All right. How many tick marks did Sean get? Sean got a whopping two tick marks. Two tick marks? How many did Katie get? Zero tick marks. Oh, oh <laughs> two points to the blue lights. No, 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 no. There's still five points available. There's still five points available. So, Sean, what is the category? Oh, uh, Category easy. Uh, it is horror movies. Ooh, horror movies. That's good. That's good. Katie, what is the category? It is very much Stephen King novels. It is Stephen King novels. Five points to Katie. That brings our score to what, Nina? Let's close out this match. It looks like the blue team took it home, but Nina, take us out. Oh, man. This was an incredible evening for a night of comedy. Huge shout outs and loves to Ref Yvette or and for everything she's done for Minor League. We have the blue, uh, the, the Lincoln Blue Lights at 41 points, and we have our wonderful, the Red Sullivan Shows at 24 points. So the blue Light, uh, Link of Blue Lights, take it. So let's give a huge shout out to K performers Katie Waldron, Joe Rodriguez, and Captain Thomas P. Clune. And we cannot forget all of those wonderful sixes and sevens for our winning Lincoln Blue Lights. Thank you so much to Christian Zerke, to our lovely EO. Oh, she's paying attention this time. And our wonderful winning captain, Jasko. Thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. There's lots to see on Twitch, as, on Comedy Sports Twitch, CSZ. And again, sixes and sevens and all of our love to our wonderful coach, Yvette. We're so excited to continue to play with you and for all the things you've done for minor league. Thank you to Ryan Ford and have a wonderful night. Oh,